Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're playing something a little different, a little less fast paced, more relaxed. This is Under Leaves. This is a sponsored video. I saw this on the list and I was like, this is what I need right now. Something that is just calm, relaxing, not too overstimulating. And yes, yeah, so we're going to be playing it for the next 30 minutes and just relaxing. I've got my cup of tea. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Let's get into it. This uh, is like a hidden object game, all hand drawn, so a beautiful artwork. And let's see what it has to offer. So we've got a cute little polar bear here. Ooh. Eight fish. Okay, so we've got to search for the fish in the game. So this is out now on Switch and Xbox. Um, and you can find the links to those down in the description below. Ooh, one left. We've done it. He's happy. He's a happy, happy polar bear. Does anybody else want help? No, we've done. We've helped the polar bear. Oh, next on to these parrots. So they're looking for some flowers. It's a great game if you if you do any mindfulness. I think this is a great game because it really kind of forces you to focus your attention. I see. Is that a flower? Hmm. Thought that was one maybe. I tried playing it on the Nintendo Switch Lite, but you can't screen record and you can't because it's got no HDMI you can't actually plug and play oh there we go so there's one there one there so you can play along and see if you can spot any of these one there and there's the last one the music is just it's just soothing I honestly like feel relaxed. I feel like I've just been playing so many fast paced games recently. Mario Kart, I've been playing Hades, and this is just, you know, 30 minutes just to relax and focus on small things. I really like the artwork on it, it's a really nice style. style. I'm finding chestnuts for this pig, or are they truffles? They're truffles. Let's see if we can find any more truffles for him. One there. One there. And that counts. We've got five more truffles to find. Oh my. I think we may have missed some. Oh, there's one. Three left. Oh, there's one. Some of you might be watching and screaming at the screen again. Yeah, it's, it's there. I think we covered for that one. I think we may have left it on this page. This page didn't seem to have many when we searched. Oh, we can go this way as well. There we go. One left. There, we found the truffles. Here you go, pig. Oh, the babies have come to eat as well. Bye, pigs. Foxes. It's an arctic fox. It's quite a good game if you've got children as well. Because there's no... Oh, you want a certain type of fish. It's quite good for kids because there's no... There's no words. So there's nothing that's needed to be read to play it. And I think things like this... Searching. They're good for... 
I think they're good for building like cognitive abilities and strengthening your your ability to search and find things. Got a snake. Snake wants lizards. Well, there's one there. Don't know how I feel about the lizards. They're quite cute, and I'm giving them to the snake. Oh, there's more. Can we go up? Oh no. We got four. I can't see any on this page. Maybe there's some here. Oh, there's one. Hmm. The hard thing is that you don't know if you've found all of them on the page. Mm. Do you guys see any that I haven't seen? <laughs> There's one. Yeah, if anybody, any of your children is like my son, he loves Where's Wally. That's been around for ages. That was that, I played that when I had those books when I was younger. Oh, is that one there? It's a plant. Three, three, two left. Yeah, so you do have to be at an age where you can probably understand numbers, so you know how many you've got. My son's five, and he could probably... He's at now at the age where he can tell you I've got five, so therefore there's two left. But where are they? I like it how they've made everything like move. So it's hand drawn. Like things still move. It makes the forest feel more real and alive. I can't for the life of me see any more newts. hesitant to go off the page because it's like what if it's just somewhere and I can't see it on this page I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not on that page it's got to be one on this page it's so this one's a lot more oh yes there we go there's one hiding We've got one more to find. Did anybody get that before me? Hmm. Oh, we've got hints. Do you have hints? Maybe to tell you where which page they're on. 
I don't want to get it myself. Oh, there it is! Yay! You're welcome, Snake. I'm sorry, little lizards. This game just got dark. Turtles! Oh, I like this place. What do you want, Turtles? Are they, um... What are they called? Are they call amoebas? Oh, I saw one up on the top. And there's another one. I think these will be easier to find. Wow, we've only got two pages. Oh no, we can go up. Every now and then whilst you're searching I'm trying to focus on the music and the sounds. Just trying to draw my attention back to it. Because again, like along I'm quite I'm a big supporter of mindfulness. I think it's a really good defense against ruminations thinking about past related stresses, situations, event, memories that are negative and reducing worry as well, so future focused thinking. The main basis of it is that if you spend time worrying about the future, you're engaging with things that haven't happened yet and that you have no control over or little control over yet as you can't fully predict what's going to happen. So, you know, if you've got a job interview coming up, you can prepare for it, but like once you've done all your revision, worrying about it isn't going to help change the situation. You can actually make it harder to, you know, stay focused in the interview. So, mindfulness is a good way of diverting your attention and practicing that re-diversion, re-diverting your attention back to the here and now, so you're strengthening that, that ability to have some control over your thoughts. I think it has its limitations though. Sometimes emotional stresses in the past, memories are a bit too painful for it to work as effectively. And you do need to draw your attention to it in a safe environment. Wow, this last one's really eluding me. this one. Could be a dark one. There we go. Yeah. I was looking for a light one. Let's go give them to the turtle. See how happy he is. <laughs> Just not seem that happy. <laughs> right, we've got... Is that a little bear? Ah, oh, I like the little bear. Right, he doesn't want truffles. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five. We're back in the woods. And it's autumn. There's birds chirping. And the piano playing. Who's playing piano in the woods? I can't see any of them there. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I can't see any. Oh, there's one. Let's try that again. Oh, I can't see any here. Oh, there's one. No, it didn't work.
Hey pigs, you know I helped you out earlier. I was wondering, have you seen any of these? It seems to be quite rare. I don't think there's any more of that. Ah, here we go. There's one. There's one. Very light one, that one. There's one on the ground. Let's see anymore, we have four. This looks like a very full one. There we go. One there. Bluebells, there's got to be another one. There we go. There's another one. I was hoping there'd be more on this one. So, Mr. Bear, is there any on this? Oh, look, two on this one. Oh, Leah, don't spoil my. Peace. Somebody's coming in. It's probably my wife. There we go. Yay. Here you go, bear. Ah, <gasps> oh, little bear cub. Look at the little bear cub popping his head up. There's two. There's two bear cubs. Alligator. What do you want? Caterpillars. Did not know alligators ate caterpillars. Right. These are going to be really hard to find. Because they're going to be proper stealthy. Like chameleons. Well, on this page, I can see none. Three. So we've got three pages. See none. <laughs> it's a good start, isn't it? Thought there could be any of these leaves. They look all like caterpillars. No, not just give you some leaves. And there can't be none on this first page. I think we're gonna have to gonna have to look look around. I think. There's probably going to be one in this one. Uh, there's one. Yay. Okay. Got. One there. One there. There's more on this one. Well, more than zero. <laughs> hmm. Oh. It's be quite a nice thing to do before bed. I feel like my shoulders relax. <laughs> it's not just the impact of this game. I promise you, it can make your shoulders relax. It's just because I'm relaxed, I'm breathing different, and I'm more aware of where my shoulders are. And if I'm not, they tend to like hike up. There's another one. Oh, and another one. And another one. <laughs> we can't stop finding them on this one. Seven out of nine. I 
think that's got to be all of them on this one. There can't be zero on this one page, right? There's got to be one at least somewhere. <gasps> There's one clinging to a leaf. I knew it would be all camouflaged. So that's one. I reckon the other one is on this page. I don't think they'd just be one. Ah, there it is. Look, oh my god, this one's clung to the leaf in the bottom left. I found it. Next, on to a stingray. Ooh. Right, Mr. Stingray, what do you want us to find for you? Shells. Ooh, they, they're going to be quite hard, I reckon. There's one. There's one. Let's see if we can just like speed run it. <laughs> Hello, fishes. Guide me. Oh, they're guiding me towards that. Thank you for the clue. No. What? There's another one. Another one is the fishes. No, I think they're just swimming round and round endlessly in circles. Hmm. Only one shell? It seems. It doesn't seem like a lot. I'm yawning. When I yawn, that's a really good sign that I'm relaxed. Because. When you yawn, when you're anxious, it activates the sympathetic nervous system, which stimulates adrenaline and cortisol. And when you're relaxed, it activates the parasympathetic nervous system. So if you're yawning, you may be activating that, which is good for anxiety. Little shell hiding behind another plant. Thought you could hide from me. <gasps> another one. There. I think. I'm pretty sure that's all the ones that I can see on this one. I'm looking for a dark one. I feel like there's a dark one somewhere. Have I ever been to every, every place? I haven't been here yet. I only need two. <laughs> it's going to be here, isn't it? There's one. And then the other one is a quick scan around the, the place. just be one on this part, right? Can there? I don't feel like we've had a dark one yet. I feel like that's the one I'm missing. Hmm. 
danach gegangen. We've never taken a hint. Not yet. This is a tough one. Now that I've got one to find. Is that one? It's like it could have been. some clues. The whale's saying, no, don't look here. There are no shells here. See a snail here. It's got to be on this page. It's got to be here somewhere. There was only one. It's rare that you get just one. Take a hint. Oh, we're so close. Take a hint, guys. You're saying no. No. Never. Never take a hint. <gasps> I found it. Yay. So when I'm really, really relaxed, I have a, a side effect from taking medication. Strange side effect, but if I am quite deep in relaxed thinking and I am relaxed, what will happen is my legs will just twitch and bump together. And I have no control over it. It happens involuntarily. It's called a benign facillation, but it was meant to go away, but it didn't, <laughs> so I'm stuck with it. So every time before I go to bed, it goes twitch, and I just twitch then, so that shows them how relaxed I am. What have we got? We've got one, two, three. Oh, we've got a lot of one, two, three, four, five. Five plays. Hello, bears. Seeing the bears again. This is a tough one. Oh, look at the bears. Look what they're doing, the little cubs. Oh, 
Oh, this this is so difficult. They've increased the difficulty. I feel like this could be anywhere. Well, total so far, zero. There's one. We're off. One. It's <laughs> got lots from here. Come on. Zero on the bottom. There on the layer above that. There's one in the distance. Two out of eight. One in the tree. Don't know if you can hear that, it's not like legs hitting each other. Alright, that's another one. One over there. Oh, the pigs are in a very fruitful area. One there. One there. Okay, oh, this is the last one. <laughs> We've got two more to find. Two more to find, we can't finish until we find these last two. Ah, there's one in the distance. Maybe there's another one in the distance on these that we've just missed. Could be here. The tops. The bears. Hmm. Come on, one left.
Let me see what a hint does. If you uh, so solve a little puzzle to get 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 a hint, and that is the deer ready for his lunch. Ah, baby deer sleeping. Okay, well that's it for this episode. I don't know about you, but I am ready for bed. It was so relaxing. <laughs> it was just. Not a overstimulating game, which I, mean, I find if you play an overstimulating game, you're already like your brain's not in the space to fall asleep or have a good quality level of sleep. With a game like this, just playing a little bit before bed, maybe doing a little bit of relaxation with it, like focusing on your breathing and being mindful, I think it's good for you. And so, I really like games like this. Okay, that's Under the Leaves. If you want to check it out yourselves, it's available now on Switch and um, Xbox. So you can find the links to those both in the description below. It's under £10, I believe, from both of them. So it's, it's very reasonably priced. Um, okay, and that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.